Hello, all you magnificent people, Durbo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the fifth episode of the Bard playthrough. Uh, did a bit more building, as you probably saw in the, uh, the, 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 the beforehand, yeah. So yeah, I added more on. It's... there. Uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm kind of happy with, like, how the, the ins... Like, I'm happy with this room. That That's about it. I, I like this room. Uh, also, I realized that once I finished building, I didn't hammer these out, and I decided to not hammer them out until the video so that you could see me hammer them out, and it would be slightly more satisfying. I guess. I, I, I don't really know why that was my thought process. Anyway, uh, so also among the building, I finally went down to the underworld and made it to the houses. They were pretty far along. Um, which means I can make molten stuff, which is fantastic, because we really need some molten stuff to... Well, we don't need it to take down the Jellyfish Reginator, um, because we... Oh yeah, frick, I got a bunch more inspiration as well. I am now maxed out until I get to hard mode, so that's good. Uh, I also got this thing, the Dynasty... That... G G Guzang? Guzang? I always pronounced it the Gunzang, but that was because... It was the one in Enter the Gungeon, and... Anyway, look. It does this. It just shoots... It just shoots the four things, and then they, they go, and they bounce, and they pierce. Uh, but because they pierce, only one of them can hit an enemy at a time, and... Yeah, you know how Terraria weapons work with piercing. They're trash. Anyway, I should now be able to make a hell of a lot of Hellstone. Bam. Approximately a hundred and nine. That's really good. Hot horn and the infernal piccolo. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap both of these. Bamski. Uh, I don't remember what else we can do with Hellstone, but I'll check in just a sec. First, I want to see how these weapons do, and I do know that we can combine the glacial and the infernal piccolo to create the song of ice and fire. But infernal piccolo. It's the opposite of the glacial piccolo. Cool. And then the hot horn. Whoa. I was not expecting that. That's actually pretty cool. Um, frick, yeah, that's interesting. Um, let's go ahead and get the Song of Ice and Fire, because I've heard that that thing is very good. No, I need a demon altar. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfectly okay. I'll do that in just a sec. Uh, first, let's see what else we can make with Hellstone. Isn't there a new armor set we can make? Yeah! The Noble's Jerkin! Or the Noble's Outfit. Fantastic. Uh, and we can also get bongos, which is fudging phenomenal. Um, we need a lot of cloth. Lots, lots, of, lots of cloth. Boom! And... Jablinski. Alright. We now have... Slightly more defense. That's, that's always good. Um, I think I'm gonna wear that now, just because I want to stick with actual bard stuff. Dang, that looks really nice. Oh, and this actually has a feather. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm well chuffed with that. That looks really nice. Bongos! We did it. We obtained bongos. We can now finish, we can now, uh, episode four is over now. Ooh. Does it still do what it used to do? Did they nerf the hell out of bongos? Ah, oh, they did nerf the bon- Oh no, okay, they didn't. Okay, it still has absurd range. I thought it was only in that circle, and I was super disappointed. But no, it does actually have crazy range like it used to. Uh, I think it used to be even crazier than that, but that's, that's really good. That's really powerful. We also have new NPCs and things. We have the brewer now, which means we can get potions and basically we're just going to absolutely decimate the queen jellyfish now that we have all this cool rad stuff. Uh, Infernal Piccolo. Get Piccolo. Bongo. Wow. I feel like the bongo is just going to be just totally invaluable in the jellyfish fight. And that thing. Ooh! <laughs> Hot horn. Holy crap. Wow, that's really good. Alright. So, turns out 
they're all really good weapons. Song of Ice and Fire. Boom. Uh, is that also material? It's not. But yeah, that shoots. Oh, dang! Oh, dip, damn, Daru, that's nice looking. That just shoots a big ol' a big ol' wibbly. Does that do three whole hits? Is that how that works? Oh, that's right, it homes, because we have the the silver mouthpiece, which makes it incredible. Oh yeah, is this does this home as well? Oh it doesn't. Why not? That's it, that's a wind instrument though. Oh no, I, I guess it's brass. Oh well, it's really good. Okay, so this only hits once, but wow, that's very good. And it inflicts both frostburn. Oh my god, it shoots fast. That's why it's so good. Holy cram. Alright, that's really, really dope. Wow, yeah, this thing is just very, very, very powerful. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, uh, let's fight a jellyfish and win. Shoot, it's gotta be daytime. Okay, let's go. Friggin' decimated, as expected. Holy crap. Um, you don't sell anything too incredible, do you? You sell, like, a jellyfish pet, and you sell the really gross crab thing that I'm never ever gonna buy again because of how disgusting and gross it is. Oh yeah, we got the, the glow stick. Yeah! Light! Pfft. It also apparently tases dudes. Interesting. I guess that's a new effect. Because I don't remember that being a thing. Also, we can now breathe underwater. Um, yeah, sweet. We can now go to the aquatic depths, and I know there's at least one weapon down there that we can get. Anyway, let's attempt to find the Viscount Arena. It's this way. Oh my god, this is gonna take friggin' ages to find. Almost there. And... It's like right here. Oh, and I forgot we're using the Molten Pickaxe, which is slow because we don't have Calamity. This is gonna take a really, really, really long time. Alright, we got the freaking Goblin. Thank God. Too bad we don't have any money.
All right, so hopefully we'll beat this count on the first try and there won't be any reason for do-overs. No! It was so close! Damn it! Hopefully this ends in water. If it doesn't, we have a problem. God damn it. I pressed the jump button! Did I use my double jump? Okay. God, that should not have been that difficult. Alright, well, let's go again. <laughs> Yes! All right. And we didn't get the sonar thing. God damn it. <laughs> really? Ah, uh, that's gonna make this really, really annoying. All right. Killed him again. I also just recognized, I just realized all those, like, particles and crap that float out of his body. That's really, really cool. Oh, damn it, we didn't get it again. Urgh. God! <laughs> we killed the boss, and that's all that matters. I don't know if the frickin' sonar cannon is worth it, but we'll never, ever, ever know, because I'm not gonna go all the way back down there to fight that boss again. I'm just not gonna do it. So, I love the Viscount fight, but I'm not going through all the effort it takes to frickin' do that again. It's just not happening. Now that that's out of the way, the only other thing is, like, Skeletron and the Granite Energy Storm. Shoot, we could do Skeletron, like, tonight. That's a pretty small arena, but it, it'll do. We'll be fine. It's just Skeletron.
Shabowski. We done. Skeletron Prime been deaded. And now we get to go into Ultimate Old. It, it doesn't get any older than a skeleton. Because that's when you're dead. Uh, but it, it, it looks less like a granny, so automatic downgrade. Um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That, that's not gonna be a thing. Um, so I don't actually know if there's anything in the dungeon for us. There's one thing we can get from the dungeon as uh, a man of magical music. And by man, I mean granny. Um, and there may be, like, armor and stuff or something. I don't know. Maybe accessories, too. Uh, but all I know is that there is the bone trumpet that we can get from Bones and Knight's Alloy. And I don't remember where Knight's Alloy comes from. How is it made? Oh, Bones and Smooth Coal? Weird. Okay, so we just need a lot of bones. Really. Cobalt Shield. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's also, like, actual things we need from the dungeon, such as the Cobalt Shield uh, and the Shadow Keep. So... Definitely reasons to come down here. Ah, yes, I forgot. This is another thing that we can do. It's the microphone. Oh, shoot, there's also a symphonic playing speed. Wow, okay, so... Yeah, Jenny was actually really good to find. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, we now have a microphone. I don't, I don't know what that sounds like. Ooh. Okay, that's really cool. That looks really cool. Ow. It's not hugely powerful, but it looks really cool. And I think it pierces infinitely as well. I think, like, that's the, the selling point of the item. It also appears that the hot horn pierces infinitely, so... The fact that the microphone pierces infinitely isn't exactly a great selling point. It does get bigger as it goes, which is really nice. The hot horn just kind of seems like a better version of the microphone. It does more damage, it's faster, it catches people on fire, and it's just really good. Shadow Key, alright, we can get the hell out of here now. Boom! Bone Trumpet. Bam! Now we have the Skeledutes. That's, that's about as dute as you're gonna get. <laughs> Releases an incredibly startling dude. Yes, they did know the meme. I mean, of course they knew the meme. They're a human being on the planet Earth, right? Of course they knew that the dude, dude skeleton existed. That's pretty nice. Wow, that can shoot a lot. One inspiration, and it just, it just goes, dude. This is like the mini shark of dudes. Oh, and it confuses people. Well, of course it does. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we did it. We made progress. I was a little apprehensive going into this. I didn't think that I would be doing a very good job of anything, and I wouldn't make any progress, but we did. So yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be taking on, oh, I don't know, probably those three, Granite Energy, Buried Champion, Star Scouter. Those guys are pretty dope. Star Scouter being an incredible fight every single time I fight him. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be in the next one. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Bard playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a magnificent day. Durable the magnificent.